welcome back to Brews with Beck. I'm Dan. How the hell are you? I am uh, just glorious. Just glorious. Thanks for asking. Uh, so the beer we have in front of us today is from North Park Beer Company out of San Diego, California. Uh, I, I don't know if I've had anything from them before. I happened to see them and do a little research on it when I was at uh, Handy Market in Burbank. Love those guys. Uh, but yeah, People seem to love this on, uh, on tap, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It is a double New England-style IPA that's been double dry hopped. Um, 8.5 on the Richter. So, I'm just going to read what they say. That way, you know, we'll uh, we'll go into what they think that it, it tastes like. It says, hey folks, we're back again. Another round of fun, fun with shapes. And what pairs better with games than delicious geometric galaxy? That's what it's called, if I forgot to tell you that. What's that, you ask? Well, it's our latest double dry hop, double IPA hopped with the apex of Galaxy, Nelson so Sovin, uh, from, from Freestyle, which I'm not sure if I understand what that means, Citra, Mosaic, and it has Mosaic Cryo, a uh, sense of diesel pink <laughs> bubblegum on the nose, I don't know what diesel means, but beam you into a straight line towards obtuse amounts of passion fruit, tropical mango, juicy, ki juicy kiwi, citrusy orange zest, and uh, that's what they got. While you cannot fit a square peg in a round hole, you can drink this beer fresh and Professor Hop. What? Okay, whatever. So it, Professor Hopfu insists that you do. Whoever that whoever that dude is, I'm sure he's really cool. But uh, yeah, you know, I, lo I see that there's citra and mosaic. I'm already thinking, you know, grapefruit, blueberry, mango. You know, yeah, bubble gum. That's probably why they say it from uh, the mosaic. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Looking forward to a great beer. I mean, people, it gets out of eh, 50 ratings so far, 4.44 out of 5. So should be, uh, you know, fairly, fairly reasonable. Um, but yeah, 8.5 on the Richter. Let's dig into this, shall we? It doesn't say a date on yours, but I think it's probably three weeks old as far as I can tell. So, all right, let's pour it. Uh, Peyton's even supervising, you know, he's got two jobs these days along with doing his Monday Night Football. So, all right. And my buffs, excuse me, excuse me. All right, let's get into it. All right, you know the drill. There's the like button right, right below me. Do me a small favor and hit it right now. Really helps me out uh, as far as the algorithm. And hit the subscribe button. That way you can come on with all the beers all the time. All right, all right, all right. And make sure you hit the notification bell. That way it pops right onto your phone right away. So, looking uh, pineapple juice-like. More... More, more so than, uh, you know, orange juice. But, uh, oh yeah, nice cool looking can, but you can already see that. Nice basic, but it got the galaxy. Um, yeah, looking forward to this. Let's, uh, let's get the aroma check. Ooh, already smelling, uh, smelling, smelling the dry hop, smelling that kind of greenness to it, as, as I like to say. I feel like. But yeah, definitely, I feel like I'm getting like a Orange, uh, citrus. Yeah. Let's see. What, what do they say she gets since... De I'm going to see if I get diesel pink bubblegum. Not sure if I get that. I get... I even get maybe like a little like tart, like... Yeah. I don't know if you'd say lemon or whatever, but... It's got it's got some, uh, trop... I just, you know, yeah. I think that's probably what I get. Tropical mango. I was going to say it's got a nice, uh... Almost get like like the melon, again, lupulin powder, melon slash lupulin powder that I feel like I usually get. But all right, with all that said, uh, no words, just emotions. Let's drink. Yep, I could smell that in the uh, the aroma. It's got a little pineapple in there, a little. Uh, well, well, yeah, maybe combo of peach and mango, but, um, you know, that, that bubblegum thing is, uh, hilarious. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I just get, you know, great citrus dry hop off, off that, but. Okay. Okay. Um, almost a little, it's got a little, very little tart, like, like a grapefruit, but yeah, it's got that, like, lupulin powder meets like a non-sweet melon thing going to it. Almost, there, there you go. Almost, uh, get that marijuana feel from it. So dank. I don't know, I don't know, you know, 
still think that that's what you're supposed to say if it you smell like it's like weed, but what whatever needs to happen. Let's pour the rest in, see if there's any. Oh, I saw some sediment at the end. So, yeah, this one's already a, a winner by my book, just trying to get all the flavors out there. I mean, and this, you know, I think this went for $5.99 a can for, again, it's eight and a half. It feels, let me see. Doesn't even necessarily feel like eight and a half. It feels like, I mean, it could be, could be, I wouldn't be fooled by this. I would know by the, all the, you know, delicious flavor and just enough times tasting doubles versus singles that it was probably double, but I probably would have just guessed max eight, eight percent. So, uh, you know, very, very smooth, very flavorful with the, you know, pineapple, the grapefruit, dry hop, you know, um, but anyway, let me let it warm up for a minute, uh, which will take a second to you and see if I get really any of this bubblegum, uh, juicy kiwi orange zest. Um, you know, don't want Professor Hop Fu uh, upset with with my with what I've said so far. Hold on a second. Alrighty then. Um, so yeah, just kind of checking other people's comments that have, that have had this so far. Um, one guy hits it on the head about what kind of how I'm feeling about this. He says absolutely fantastic. Might be my favorite double IPA from North Park. Um, perfect mouthfeel, soft and tropical, but also dank. Yeah, you're definitely getting like, you know, good, subtle dry off. I don't think it's too green. And one, actually, I remember one of the comments in here was like, it'll be perfect in about a week. And I think that was about six days ago. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> nothing to complain. I mean, like great flavors of like pineapple, subtle grapefruit, um, you know, but you, you do get kind of like a, you know, ending of dankness and, uh, and a little, little, little pepper, little, little, little hot pepper. Um, but, um. Uh, yeah, and it's just got that like lupulin powder, melon like non-sweet melon. That's just, just yeah, phenomenal. Yeah, that is. I don't know if it gets, you know, that's that's a definition of a, of almost a, a perfect uh, double New England style beer, at least according to me and my taste. So, you know, I'm gonna take one more sip. I think you kind of know where the rating is going on this, but I'll be very specific on it. Yeah, that's that hit the spot perfect. Just with all that, not just that, and it's not over. You're not getting any hot burn. You know, it's not it's not too green as as you want to say, as, as I said. So, and I don't even mind that. But for you people that don't like that, that you know, it's uh, it's quite quite reasonable right now. I. If they still have this at uh, Handy Market in Burbank and you're around there, you should go like for six bucks, uh, you know, a pint. And you can just you can buy single cans at a time. That's what's nice. You don't have to buy a four pack and you know pay whatever twenty four plus tax. But even then, I I'd do that for this beer. So, Stellar down to oh hell no. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, no question on this one. San Diego Stellar, North Park Stellar, North Park Beer Company. I'm going to have to check more of their stuff out. I don't think I've had any of their stuff for Don't think. Um, so by Stellar, I mean, on this one, I would absolutely give this, you know, I, I, I don't I don't ever give a beer 100 I, I just because who knows if there will ever be anything better. But, you know, this is about as close as you're going to get. So definitely I'll give it a 98 and a half. How about that? So, pretty close to, you know, a perfect beer. Really, really good. If you like all those flavors, like the, it's, you know, it's not, it's more on the dank, peppery, but soft. Uh, mouth feels about 35%. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's eight and a half, but it feels like it could be even, I wouldn't even be, you know, that, that could pass four or seven. I mean, I, I just know better. I, I can tell it's a double, but, um. Yeah, it's pillowy soft and just has all that going to it. My wife would hate this, but this is my definition of a, basically a beer I, I would drink once a day. Yeah, just that. I don't even smoke weed, but it's got that that uh that peppery weed thing at the end. It's nice. So well done, North Park. Um, 
Um, yeah, compliments. I'm going to have to find more of your stuff. If you see this North Park and you would love to, you know, get in touch with me, uh, you know, yeah, comment below and we'll figure it out because I'd love to put more of your beers on here. So, um, next beer, I'll probably, actually, I'm going to do one tomorrow for Houston Beer Guide, uh, whether it's tomorrow or the next day. Um, yeah, Sylvia is uh, doing me well. She just sent me a nice little shipment of stuff down in Houston. So, stuff from, from uh, Houston will be coming up at least once a week. Um, but, yeah. Check these guys out. Check this beer out. Phenomenal. Couldn't recommend it any higher. So, anyway, good talk, and we'll see you out there. Peace.